Hey everyone, this is Mark and Nelson, and since we haven't had enough rain over the past uh, month, yeah, past month, <laughs> we're going to try something different today. Uh, we have been asked to make a Game of Thrones inspired knife, and we're going to give that a try. Yeah, we thought we'd videotape it, and you can see we're not in the creek today, so here we are. Got a few pieces of obsidian down here, or dragon glass, as, <laughs> as it were. Yeah, as uh, it's called. Yeah, we got these from... Dragonstone, which I believe is a uh, little island off the coast of Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this piece here, these are all pieces that we've had laying around. We, we don't often work obsidian, but uh, this here has got a lot of coloring in it, um, a su substantial size. These two are just uh, straight up uh, black obsidian. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll probably start with one of the black here and and start trying to work that down. And just so um, you're aware, this is not an instructional. This is, we're not gonna be talking about how to nap. We're just gonna, we had this project in the hopper and thought, hey, we can't film in the creek. Let's film this. That's so. right. <laughs> we did uh, take a look at the, uh, the, the TV show and try to uh, find some pictures of the uh, knives in question there. Uh, we did find, uh, I guess a pretty good picture of the, the knives that we can use. Yeah, we, we've got something in mind, so we're going to try to get as close to that as we can, and we will show this project through completion, but uh, leaving out a lot of the detail stuff. So, uh, as I said, this is not an instructional. Um, we're just going to make the knife and, and then go from there. All right, we'll get started. Here we go. razor blade. <laughs> yeah, he'll start thinning it down now and get it to the shape we want. Yeah, we did have a uh, subscriber ask about you know, what creek we found these abrading stones in. And this one uh, we found in Lowe's Creek. Uh, <laughs> and, I think you can find those at, in about any state. <laughs> uh, it's just a uh, masonry brick abrader. I just want to mention that. over this Game of Thrones show has uh, has got potential to bring obsidian napping back to life a lot of the flint nappers including us we don't we don't work it that often um, we prefer the the actual flints out there but yeah, a lot of people call it a beginner flint napping stone but uh... It, it, it is, but it's also extremely hard to nap in terms of if you're used to hitting hard rock and then you switch off to obsidian, it's all treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> we want to maintain as much size as we can because uh, those knives are... That's going to be a big tell, knife. <laughs> yeah, well, we can tell they're quite large. Alright, i got to start dealing with this side now. Now again, this is the tip, so I'm going to be angling up here. This side's going to be dipped slightly, as you saw from the, the picture of what we're going for here. But uh, i got to get some rapid thinning on this thing as well. Yeah, we do have more obsidian. Probably need Just in case <laughs> this thing blows up. Heavier gauge. Nice big flake. Make a little airhead out of that. Yeah. The rock is coming down. It is coming down. I mean, yeah. it is quite a bit thinner than it was when I started, but it certainly isn't where I need it to be yet. A lot of the problem areas are resolving. Hopefully I'm not going to create a new one. There's <laughs> <laughs> flakes running down my leg. are going to split me open. City and that could be razor sharp stuff. Yeah, especially those fresh flakes. A little worried about that spot. 
Now it can be other end. Razor blades, oh plenty. <laughs> <laughs> stack there but I'll deal with that. Smaller artillery. <laughs> That's taking her down. Yeah. Alright, you can see it's it's continuing to thin. Yeah, it's nice. The shape is, is working itself out. Still a lot of uh, treachery here that <laughs> I gotta deal with. Pay close attention. It's going. Alright, so at this point, I've got the general shape, but I know I've got to have a nice sharp point down here with a curve in this thing, and I'll deal with the curve here later. So, I'm just trying to get a little we'll, more accuracy on my shape. Yeah, we want it as close as we can to the actual. The actual yes. knife in the Game of Thrones. As close as we can. <laughs> That's probably a lot, to, a lot to be wished for there, but we'll go for it. Let's see what we can do. We're also planning to make a maybe a stand for this knife. Also, uh, Game of Thrones inspired. Uh, don't know what we'll do yet. Uh, yeah, that's going to take some creativity because we don't have a picture of that. <laughs> and we'll we'll just we'll just come up with something. Pass is putting a real nice flake scar on there, I'll see. Yeah, set up to just kind of run them down the line there. I need to abrade that. Looking better for the, with uh, each pass. Yeah, I'm having to baby it with each pass too, more and more. Let's trying desperately to maintain the size. Yeah, I also don't want it too thin. I mean, that that uh, the blade we're going from did not look like a thin blade, so I'm not trying to take great big heavy flakes off of it. Just just enough to get it shaped. I'm about ready to start the pressure work. To do the detailing. Yeah, that'll uh, give it a shape. That'll give it its evil medieval look. <laughs> yes, we must have evil medieval. <laughs> <laughs> Clarifying the tip there a little bit. Yeah, I just roughed in a tang. See there. Again, trying to mimic what we, uh, we saw in the picture. It's looking good. Yeah, it's taking on a, <clears throat> a really good shape now. Yeah, we're starting to get that incurved signature on the blade here. A little recurve action. All right, we finally have a, uh, a finished blade, phase one, complete, uh, and it, it is a fairly close rendition to what we what we saw. Man, that Look is nice. There. Nice jet black obsidian. Done a good job of maintaining the size and the shape looks, I believe it's great. Yeah, I, I think I lost nothing on the length of the piece of stone I had, so that was a, that was a plus. All right, and hey, we didn't we didn't try to thin it too much. Wanted to keep it kind of heavy, so there it is. Next phase is attaching a handle. All right, yeah, well, that'll be fun. Yeah, he'll get to grind some bone on that. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that. All right, we'll get after it. Week. We'll be right back. All right, now we're on to phase two of this project. Uh, now that the blade's done, 
Yeah, we've uh, identified some uh, antlers we want to possibly make a, a handle while of. I think we're going to pick this one. It's got these uh, <laughs> little teeth in there. That looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go with that, that one right there. We'll cut this out right here. Make this part right here the handle. And uh, we got plenty of other pieces here to make a, make a stand out of. We'll come up with something there. All right, we'll get started on uh, this phase of the project. All right, uh, here's the uh, the cut handle. As you can see, it's a little curved. There ain't nothing we can do about that. Every bone we have has that curve to it. So <laughs> we're just going to have to do the best we can with it. So uh, that's what we're going with. Uh, we'll grind it a little bit on each yeah, side here. We'll and sand it out shape it up a little more yeah the best shape we can come up with and we'll either come up with a hole here or a slot we haven't determined that yet uh, to put the uh, the blade into all right we're on it all right well we've we've done, had a lot of work on this handle we it's a hidden tang design so yeah. we had to route out the middle of the, yeah that yeah. antler that a little was bit of work there a little bit of work stinks pretty bad but it's out all right so the next and uh an idea of what's going on here uh, extreme medieval evil medieval is what we call evil it. medieval coming out <laughs> all right it's, all right it's coming to life uh, all right we'll get this mounted up and show it again here in a few minutes all right check it out here's the handle that's, that's we burnt the handle and we've uh, yeah we took some creative liberty there yeah just done whatever we wanted to there uh, the, the internal that that uh, hidden tang that is just with a drill we just took a drill didn't show that on camera but yeah uh, nobody wants to watch people drill on a bone but uh, this is going to go in here just like so and we're going to glue that up with some uh, two-part epoxy yeah and we will leave a little gap yeah a little, a little small gap there so we can wrap something around it to cover up any glue or holes there so yeah, we'll come up with something transition area all right then now uh, We'll have this together in a few minutes, and that'll be about it for the knife. And then we got to come up with something on this stand. Won't be hard. We got some ideas going. We've been brainstorming. minutes here and we'll move along. all right while that knife is all getting all uh, finished up drying um, we're going to try to come up with a stand now we tried to identify some things that are uh, in the spirit of or in the essence of, uh, <laughs> of uh, yeah, Game, Game of Thrones, Thrones. Uh, we figured out that leather you know bones fur and naked people were are the common themes of the, of the show. Uh, well, three, to four, three out of four ain't bad. Three out of four ain't bad. I ain't going to get naked to make it thing. So, all right, we'll, we'll start to work on this stand in just a second. All right, we will get back to it. This is our method of staining, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it works good. And like we said before, it's not real consistent, and we like that. Let's see how it charged the, charged the bone a little bit there. And we'll burn both these, both of these pieces. And, it look a lot better. Start fitting it up. All right, Nelson's now applying a little bit of uh, stain to the edges of this plank that we're going to use for the base. Yeah, it looks like black paint, but it's uh, ebony stain. And I'll wipe some of it off, but we wanted it really dark. Since we're not going to burn the wood for the stand, we're going to just stand up. I'm going to leave this center area clear so that. Uh, the glue sticks to it. We've got some leather on yeah. that. Down on that. Yeah. Leather cover. All right. All right. We got this painted, and we got a piece of leather cut that we're going to 
put down on here, we've abandoned the fur idea. Yeah, the, the fur idea turned out to be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. We look like we skinned a cat in here. Yeah, so here's what it's going to look like. Something to this effect, and the knife will be going in here, of course. Yeah, and we are going to tack that that uh, that leather down with uh, some brass studs and yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll also uh, give it a little bit more of a Game of Thrones look. <laughs> All right, that's where we're going with it. All right, we'll be back shortly. Right. There's one. <laughs> here. <clears throat> All right. All right. Mm -hmm. See we got some old nails with rounded heads, pin heads on. Yeah, that's as far as we're going to go with the with the knife stand. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the fur didn't work out so good. The, the fur was a bad idea. No fur. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, All right we're Victory. finished. Victory. <laughs> Completage. All right. Well, just uh, this is the completed project here. Here's our version of a uh, Game of Thrones uh, dragon dragon glass. dragon glass dagger. <laughs> and that's, Pick it up here. All right. This is the first one we've ever made, I guess. Yes. Yeah, interesting handle. We thought that fit the theme pretty good. And uh, we did wrap some cord around here to create a little transition area between the blade and the inset tang. Uh, fairly good sized. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Yeah, I didn't break it. And we tried to make it to the shape of the picture we saw. As close as we could get it. Uh, the handle didn't match exactly, but I think ours is cooler. <laughs> Alright, that's it. There it is. By request, by the way. Yeah, we've had a lot of requests actually for this. So, uh, there it is. Hope uh -huh. you liked it. Comment, subscribe. Hope to see you soon. All right. We'll see you all on the next one.